81 days. That is how long we have left to complete this series, this mod pack. That's, that's including reaching level 100, finding all the artifacts, and killing the Herald. 81 days! Now that may sound like a lot of days, but in that time is the holidays, which I know personally I'm going away for a bit of the holidays. And... I mean, time time has a tendency to just disappear. It's not a long time at all. Uh, I'm not stressed. You're stressed. Uh, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Today, today I want to make use of this here floor in Pacific. My storage room floor. And I've got a very weird idea. An idea which I don't know if I can pull off. I don't know if it's going to be absolutely awful but an idea that i'm willing to put to the test because if it does work out i think it would be very very cool and so first things first i'm going to need a bunch of different colored concrete i think i'm gonna grab all the different dice that i've collected i've actually been quite good with these dice now as i'm not a good planner i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have to wing it let's do a stack of orange a little bit of yellow I'm gonna need some pink for sure. Then I need a little bit of black. And finally, some magenta terracotta. Yeah, I think this color is gonna do great. As I say, I am very not sure about my idea here at all. It's, it's something that's in my head and it might work out. Now, we're gonna do, we're gonna make drawers. And as you can see, I've actually, like a professional, prepared like the perfect ingredients to make a full stack and then some of drawers and I'm going to want these the two by two drawers I think this is a lot of resources <laughs> if this doesn't work out and then what I'm gonna do is take eight stacks of sticks and turn them into frame drawers okay that's a good start I'm gonna need some more so let's also turn these 32 once again the two by two okay next up I have to do the fun thing with concrete Wow, the haste three <laughs> really makes this quite fast, actually. I, I do need a better block underneath there, I think. Put a jungle plank there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is... Okay, that is very fast. Hold on, check this out. <laughs> I love... I love haste. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna take the concrete and make the drawers into that color. So they look... They look very much like the, they look exactly like the concrete from the back and then from the front they're actually storage drawers okay i've got a few different colors i have no idea how many i'm gonna need of the different colors i'm gonna start placing down some blocks because what i'm thinking is if i place these down can i create an artistic pixel based sunset that's also a storage system if this works out, it's going to be fantastic and great. And if it doesn't, it's going to be terrible. <laughs> but we never know until we try. Finishing it up with a pink line on the top. And... Oh! Oh, I like that. <laughs> that's... That's looking pretty cool, actually. And then from the outside... Uh, looks a bit weird. <laughs> it looks a bit weird because of the cyan border there. Maybe I'll remove that, but I'll, I'll I'll see where we where we go. This is sort of like one of those paintings. You're just gonna throw things at it and see what happens. And since I have these windows, I was thinking if I could like picture frame it and continue this gradient as I go. But of course, I can't have a sun on all of these. So on this one here, I'm thinking that I build a tiny tiny silhouette of a palm tree. It's only a palm tree. If you can envision that being a palm tree. I'm out of drawers. I'm just gonna have to fill that in for now like that. Oh! You know, that's... That's pretty cool. It's... It's very weird. It's very, very weird. And I don't know if it's... <laughs> if it actually works. But... I like it, I think. Now with this second box, I removed the cyan conk. Oh, that looks cool. That looks very cool from the outside because the drawers on the back just looks like concrete. I may want to make that palm tree silhouette bigger, but I I quite like that. Try to remove this here as well. And I guess what I could do is like add like a 3D effect to this since it's inset one. 
Oh, oh yeah, that is way better. I think I like this. It's, it's so weird, but it kind of works, I think. And then on the inside, I could just continue it so that it connects with the drawers. And that way I would get more storage space as well. I am fully out of drawers, however. Let me see if I have more resources. I've done some math and I'm going to need 51 more drawers to fill the, the, the holes up there. And I definitely have enough chromatic iron to do it. The question is, do I have enough driftwood? I... <laughs> I'm short too. <laughs> really? I think that's actually it. I think I'm actually short two driftwood logs to get there. I gotta have some more driftwood laying around. I do not. Oh, that's hilarious. That's actually... That's actually very funny. <laughs> you know what though? I should add the 50. It's fine. It's fine. I'll get there eventually. Two more driftwood is literally like one wooden chest inside a vault. It's not gonna stop me. And the question is, do I want to have another one of those palm trees? They are weird, but I do kind of like it. Yeah, I'm gonna add it and see how it looks since I can re-dye these. Aha! You know, I like this. It is so weird, but I'm a fan. And then as I say, I am short one drawer, so we have one pixel <laughs> that's not filled in at the moment. That looks really cool for a, for a storage system, I think. And from the outside, I mean, yeah, that's, that's brought a lot of color to the build. And I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> looks, looks so, so weird. Now, I wonder if I want to like add a block on the inside or if I want to get more drawers and connect it all up together eventually for more storage space. Hmm. I'll be honest, I quite like these blockades in between. I think they, I don't know what it is. I just think it, it's, it feels very artistic. It feels like I'm looking out a window indoors, but I might change my mind on that later. For now though, that means that I need some of these trims in order to connect these two sides up together. And if you've never seen drawers before, these are storage units that can store without upgrades, 512 of any one block per little space and there's four spaces in each block. It's a very handy and satisfying storage mod. However, to make this really efficient, I'm gonna need a controller, which, I mean, I'm not far off making that. The expensive part is the black chromatic iron, which is made using four of these. And I actually have enough black opal for that. Every black chromatic ingot is eight steel as well. So that's one. And then to make the steel, I need the carbon and the chromatic. I'm just not gonna math it, I'm just gonna hope. I think I have enough, actually. Four black chromatic stealing is. These feel heavy. <laughs> like, they give me the emotion of being very heavy in my hand. Okay, so then the next part is 16 times 32 Lermar. And I definitely have enough to make that. So two of those. And one Pog, which I believe I got earlier this series from a champion I can't remember. And then I need two more drawers. <laughs> Wait a minute. I need two more drawers. That's a problem. I I don't have the chromatic... I don't have the chromatic... Oh no, I don't have the driftwood to make two. You know what? Can I steal two of these, replace them with pixel art, as in concrete, and use them as my drawers? I can. <laughs> I'm totally gonna do that, because then I have a, to a drawer controller, which is an incredible tool. Let me just make sure that I make it into a framed one so I can design it. And it would replace this drawer. It needs to be a magenta one. Nice, a magenta terracotta. Yes! Oh, I have a drawer controller. The drawer controller is... I I'll explain quickly. Uh, what it does is it roots items within the drawer system, and the drawer system can be huge. Like, I think, I think it'd be like 24 by 24. So now that I have carbon in here, I can double-click my carbon here, and it travels to this uh, spot immediately. It's, it's very, very powerful. Now, to make it really, really good, I'm going to need this drawer key, which requires another drawer. And I have another drawer since I removed that one. But then, to make the upgrade template, I need another drawer. So, I have to uh, do this thing once more. Replace it. Craft one of these. And craft the key. 
And this key is very important because now I can right click the key here, which gives this little padlock thing, right? And that makes it so that no items can go in the wrong slot. So if I put, I'm just going to have to test this out, actually. If I put some chromatic iron up there, then I should be able to right click this and it travels all the way up there. However, if I try and put something in that I don't have a filter for, then it's not going to go in. And that's going to be very important for our diluting system. But enough with the technical mumbo jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbo jumbo. I'm gonna set up a filter for this right now. The best case scenario is that we have every single item in the game in the drawer system, but that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna start with putting in all of the stuff that we get from vaults. And this is going to take a while. I have done it! I have got a ton of items filtered in the storage system. I've also added a little bit of a cozy roof. Because it started to rain. It always rains on this server. I added some of these simple light things. I think that looks... It looks really cool. And I then added some shulker boxes down here for my different, like, items that don't stack, for example. My tools, my additional or extra vault gear, my, my food, my cupcakes. And even though this is just the beginning of a storage system, I absolutely love it. And let me demonstrate the power of this system. In my inventory, I got a handful of different items. I've been out on a hunt or whatever. And all I gotta do is double right click here with a hand. And look at that. Every single item that can go in this system has now gone in the system. It's beautiful. I, I love getting a little bit organized. Now, don't get me wrong, I still have a quite fair bit of deorganization over here. I think actually some of these might now be able to go in. But one problem that I'm having is that I'm overflowing. Okay, yeah, I'm overflowing with wheat, which can be fixed by installing upgrades. But upgrades costs resources, and I still don't have any driftwood. <laughs> I just gotta say, I really like the look of this and I'm happy that I went with these pillars in between because it makes it more artistic. And in a way, it looks like a desktop background in my on my computer with like icons everywhere. And if I go further away, these icons like fade out or render out. But yeah, I, I've, I'm a really big fan of this and I'm so happy that I went with, that I tested this because don't get me wrong, like when I put down the first square, I was like, ah! I don't know about this, it's kind of weird, but yeah, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And this also means, if I have now done this correctly, all of these chests, except for this one, should be empty. And that means that I can celebrate with a nice vein. Oh, oh, I forgot the jewels. <laughs> Crap. Hold on, hold on, I can fix this. I can fix this. Jewels, don't they spawn on me. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I can celebrate by vein mining every single chest and taking the monster down. I guess this also means that I gotta move my altar, my crystal, my vault altar up here for now. Because otherwise I'd have to run back and forth to make a crystal. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try my new system to make a crystal. I need some vault, some chipped vault rocks and one of these. And then... Ooh, deep slate, ink sacks, carrots! Wait, do I even have- I don't think I have carrots. Do I have a carrot? I don't have a carrot in this world yet. Absolutely disgrace. Hopefully, there are some carrots over at spawn. That's potatoes. Are these carrots? Uh, they look like- they look like carrots to me. That is carrots. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, what is this? Free mailbox to send mail, make a postbox. Oh! Oh, I'll take a mailbox. They are very great. I wish these existed in vanilla because they allow you to send posts back and forth. It's Skull 85. Skull 85, it's Skull 85. <laughs> now people can send me mail. And I can set up a new filter for carrots right there in the palm tree stem. Oh, you need 65? Man, expensive. And deep slate. Copper and ink sacks. Nice! First crystal made with my new sophisticated storage system. Which can be made a lot better, by the way, if I have resources. So, with that said, I think it's time to run a vault and try and... My, my, goal, my goal is going to be to collect as much driftwood as I possibly can, because that is right now my bottleneck. Which means I get to try out my new chromatic steel paxel that I made in the last episode. Before I go, though, I'm going to spend that unspent skill point or knowledge point. And I think I'm going to unlock vault compass. This is 
such a good way to navigate the vaults using a compass. And I did get a lot of netherite in my last, uh, in my, the bounty, didn't I? So I should be fine here. Compass and vault compass. Yes. Oh, that's a big unlock. That's a huge unlock. Now, what kind of bounties do I have? Not the best reward. Mine Lairmar. That's a healthy amount of netherite and emeralds. Yeah, I might do that. And this is submit iron ingots for a lot of chromatic steel. Okay, I might save that and do that afterwards in the overworld. But what about this one? Find vault essence. There's so much netherite here. Yeah, I guess I can do that as well. And then I'm not going to seal this crystal. I'm just going to run it randomly. Now I realize this is my first big boy vault. Because I'm level 20, there's no more beginner's grace. So if I die, well, I'm going to have to buy back my, my items. Oh, and I got soul search. That is an uber modifier that gives me double the amount of soul shards in this vault. So killing mobs is absolutely recommended. Oh, and it's, a, it's an elixir. Nice. And look at the compass, always pointing home. So I can be a little bit more reckless with how I explore this vault. Oh, or room. And I need Lermar to complete one of my bounties. Hello, guys. I am in the need of some of your gems. But I also like all the soul shards that you're dropping. Oh, big boy. Hello. These guys can absolutely hurt. I think you have a lot of elixir as well. Any more Larimar down here? Aha! Oh! And that's it! I completed it! The first ore pit! <laughs> Hello! Yes, please die from my poison. You can never have too many of gems. I almost completed the elixir in the first room because ores are great in this vault. Ouch! The mobs are quite hurtful though. Specifically since I'm still using my elytra. My other bounty in this is to get essence, which I think I just get from wooden chest. I can't fully remember. I think it's one of the wooden chest drops. Double baby is never a good thing. And I can't believe that they hurt so much. Poison on my sword is really doing work though. Aha! There's the elixir done. Easy peasy. Oops. Oh, crab champion. Hold on. Freeze. Yes. This guy is very tanky, and he's got life leech as well. Give me something good. Oh, that was something epic. It's an epic focus. Woohoo! Right, let's try out my new wood miner. There we go. Oh, that's so much better than opening the chests. I love it. Uh-oh. Skeletons with bows are very dangerous. And that might be another level 20 thing. I should definitely equip my chest plate for this fight. Sir. Ouch. Oh, he's tanky as well. Die. Whoo! Oh, and dungeons! Dungeons is another level 20 thing. I don't know if I'm equipped for this, honestly. Uh, it's a normal difficulty one. What kind of chests are here? Only coins. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna skip that. I'm gonna skip that. I need to do one of those when I find... When I have done my quest. There's a lodestone. And here are finally some more chests. I love my chest breaker. It's great. Yep, vein mining chests. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Trident boy. And baby. Did he just get that trident? I think he got trident in the back of his head. <laughs> That's rude. Sir! No. Give me the chests instead. I am 21 of 31 volt essence. Slowly but surely getting there. Uh oh, there's another sniper in the back. Woohoo! Ouch! <laughs> Come on, man! The aimbot. Ouch! Oh. Ooh! Okay. My mana situation is not the best. Heal. I go back in, go back in, go back in. Dodge. Yes. Oh, they are so dangerous. They hurt so much. Yay! There's the Vault Essence completion. The difficulty difference from level 19 to 20 is quite significant. And I can definitely feel that I'm still wielding a level 8 sword. And yeah, some other stuff isn't optimal. Uh-oh, double tridents. Double baby. Ouch! Oh my! That was a crit hit. Heal. I'm out of potion charges now. 
Careful. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, look at this place. Hello. You look scary, <laughs> sir. Don't mind me. I'm just getting all of your loots. Uh-oh. Crab champion. I think I have my blizzard up. So I will freeze you. It's giving me weakness. <laughs> Ouch! Okay, sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but you're stuck on a campfire being spat on by my blizzard. It's kind of comedic in a way. Rare shield, thank you. Oh, he gave me a sour orange as well. That's... That's kind of incredible. Sour orange gives you a full extra minute. It's like a kiwi, but a minute. Oh, and there's a there's a special PUI or hidden PUI down there. I can see it on the map. Time is running out though, and I'm not entirely sure how long I have to a lodestone. I think I saw one a while ago. How do I get into this secret? I want in. Oh! Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, this is great. Absolutely great. Never pass up on these hidden PYs or hidden loot places. Right, 40 seconds. I gotta try and get to a lodestone. I don't want to have to eat that sour orange either because they're very rare. Run, Niskal, run! Oh, it's over there. Yes! Okay, easy peasy. Without an orange consumed. Woof! This vault was significantly more difficult than before level 20. 112 chests, that seems to be my number though. <laughs> 32,000 experience as well. All in all, GG, I also kept track and I got nearly three stacks of driftwood, which was like the most important thing. And I completed both bounties. But check this out. Now that my inventory is like this, I can just double click and oh, oh, it empties so much. And then I can immediately find out what else I should put in storage. So like uh, inscription pieces, catalyst fragments, ancient copper and dreamstones. Wait a minute, where are my other Schalke boxes? Wait, wait a minute, did I did I accidentally put my Schalke boxes in the, in the secret PUI? Did, no. Did I? My loot? Hold on. Uh, I, I, I gotta go back and watch that footage. I deserve this rain. Unbelievable. And what's funnier is I had three Schalke boxes. The one I didn't discard off contains a picking jewel, 14 vault plates and 29 bronze. <laughs> I am an idiot. There was, there was quite a lot of gems that just lost forever. I really do need to invest into some better backpacks. I can't believe I discarded Schalke boxes. Anyway, moving on from that little incident, I did complete both bounties, so let's claim these. And I actually got 915 soul shards in that vault. I'm definitely gonna buy this black chromatic ingot for that. The soul search uber modifier really helps out. I deserve a piece of cake. And my crates. I mean, looking at this, between my bounty rewards and the completion crate, that's, um, it could have been better. It could have been better if I didn't discard my Schalke boxes, but it's, it's fine. Everything is fine. A rare wand, a pretty good sword. Ooh, this might even be better, even though it's scrappy. That is a lot of DPS. I'm gonna try and roll this sword, though, and see if I can get some extra damage instead. Two extra. That's the lowest I it can roll. Oh, six! There we go. My current sword is not only level 8, it's almost also completely dead, so this is a necessity. 37, so I go up 8 damage points or 8 DPS points. That's, yeah, that's a big upgrade. And <laughs> I love this sword. It looks so derpy. <laughs> looks like a flat baseball bat. Oh, yeah, that's some good jewels there as well. And 15 netherite in the bounties is incredible. I also did get the augment for that vault, the theme. Storing that in this special box right here. The main mission in that vault was to get driftwood. I had two pieces and I now have 183, which means that I got 181 driftwood, which means that I can craft up some more drawers. However, I'm now alarmingly short on chromatic iron, but what I am hoping to be able to do 
is grab my chromatic steel and some magic silk as well as some larimar because I want to make a few more of these upgrade templates. And then with these, I am looking to make three of these diamond upgrades as well as one uh, void upgrade. Do I have one more chromatic iron piece in these furnaces? No, no, I don't. I am seriously poor right now. I was really hoping to make more than one void upgrade. Oh well, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upgrade this door because I have vault cobblestone in there and then when I'm upgraded with one of these diamond ones I'm gonna put a void upgrade in there. So now I can take all of this vault cobblestone and just dump it back into here and it will store 16 times 512 however much that is and then it's going to void the rest. Eventually I want to make a lot more of these upgrades. I'm going to use one more of these on the bronze drawer because that is full currently as well as this one I think. The wheat drawer which means that I should be able to take that wheat out and then double click here. Yes, nice. This system is only going to get better and better, but right now, that's all I can afford. Now, I wonder, how am I doing for knowledge? I can make four Extraordinary Benutite, and I can actually make four Knowledge Cores. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then I can make 24 Knowledge Shards, which is enough for three. And then I have one in here, which means that I have four Knowledge Stars at this moment in time. That's actually quite exciting. Hmm. After that incident, I feel like double pouches and stack upgrades. Pouches? Double pouch. Aha, stack upgrade requires chromatic iron. Just a moment. Aha. Oh, smelting, my beloved. Souvenir. Stack upgrade and pickup upgrade. Aha! This is gonna help out a lot. And if I would have had this pouch, I would have had a lot more gems because <laughs> they wouldn't have got into that Shalke box and got discarded. I am very close to level 22 and I do have some of these. I wonder... Yep! Level 22. And I really struggled with damage in that vault. I felt outscaled in terms of damage. So I think... I'm gonna invest two points in strength. My my damage value right now is 37. And if I take two levels in strength, I'm gonna get six more base damage, which translates to, yeah, is that 10, 11? 11 more DPS damage per second. That I think is a massive upgrade. Anyway, that's gonna do for today. I really do hope that you enjoyed this super weird storage system. I think it's cool. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Now, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode.